This is Pete from Pitch Plate. And today we're going to show you how to make sushi the easy way. Um, Quickly run down to see some of you and get a scratch and happy. It's a nice and simple way to do it. And you know, no mucking around. may not be um, the, the traditional way, but well, we'll do our best. And... For a bit of fun at home as well. Yep, exactly. Get the kids involved. Oh, Get sticky fingers. <laughs> rice. Alright. We're going to start with the rice. What we've done is make sushi rice, which is a lot stickier than your usual rice. It's nice and starchy, so it sticks all the sushi together so it's a whole layer. Here, grab a handful of that. What we'll do, we'll just spread the sushi rice evenly over the sushi roll. You don't want a humongous sushi roll. Enough. I do. <laughs> Some people might want to put more than others. Mine's well, not going to look as nice because I'm a fisherman. I'm a fish We're all about quantity when it comes to the food we eat. And because we've got sticky hands now, we might want to get a little towel. Or, no, not a good idea. Sometimes it helps to put a little bit of water on your fingers. It means the rice won't stick to you as much as the seaweed. I got some water. Thanks. Take one of them if you like. Yeah, that's alright. Jump in. Please do. Otherwise, they'll sit there. Um, okay, what are you going to so put on yours? I'm going to just go with cucumber, some beautiful fresh blueberry tuna, some avocado. Oh, I'm going to buy my seafood. I'm going to get one on the way back. Sushi sandwich, and also the vegan sushi sandwich over here from Blaine Island. Oh, sushi sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Get the kids don't like fish, do it with the crumb cheese, the meat on it, but if you choose, if they like avocado and cucumber, it's nice and good. Thank you. 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 Do it whichever way you like. Alright? I'll just grab a nice long piece of If you sushi, I know I Watch out a nice sushi, definitely. Experience shift. Don't be shy with this stuff because it's absolutely delicious. It's that good that you just drop it in. I'm not going to put that in yet. Now for the rolling. Rolling is. Sometimes it's a bit difficult. If you don't have a sushi mat, use baking paper. I find that quite easy. I think mine might, might come out on the... On the, on the uh, what you want to do is keep it very compact. Oh no! I'm going to shout about. I don't know why. Just straight away. I'm going to do it out of the shape. I'm going to do it out of the shape. I'm going to do it out of the shape. Free sample from my money. I'm going to do it out of the shape. I'm going to do it out of the shape. I'm going to do it out of the shape. I'm going to do it out of the shape. I'm going to do it out of the shape. I'm going to do it out of the shape. I'm going to do it out of the shape. I'm going to do it out of the shape. Very big to and I've got no idea. But, is it a trick? I knew what was going to happen. Mine, mine ended up on 
the edge, it, it is on the edge. No, they're all the same, they're all blue fin tuna. Yeah, it's nice. A little sushi roll. You can put as much or as little filling as you want. I think that, that looks a little bit stingy. You can put as much as you want. Next one. Quite rice. And that's how we roll with the hose. That's how we roll. That's just how we roll. Make sure you've got your pickled ginger, your wasabi, some lovely soy sauce to go with it. And, you know, who needs to go to a yeah. restaurant? You've got everything here. Everything. You ever want. And we're at Bay Mile Seafood. You got me, say so hello. People are really? here for a couple of days yeah. a week. Showing people how to do cool stuff. Lots of easy things you can do with the seafood. Check these and hold the hose too. Hey guys.